Hey gamers, Tony here with the ClassicLeet.com Gaming and Electronic Podcast, back with another iOS app review, and today I'm reviewing the game Sly Fox, developed by Black Fox Studios and published by Chilingo. Sly Fox is a universal app in the App Store, 99 cents, um, and you can play it on your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. And the story of this game is simple, you can click on this little movie button here and see the story. The story button is basically that an airplane is flying and over land crashes, as you can see. Um, very violent crashing scene, but uh, crashes and a fox is sleeping, it wakes up the fox, he goes over, hijinks the propeller and the motor, I guess, off of the airplane, ties it to his back, and voila, magically he can fly around to help him catch chickens. And so, that's what you gotta do in this game, uh, Sly Fox, I'm gonna go ahead and exit back out of that. And uh, in the settings, there's nothing much uh, unique about this game. There's not a ton of settings, no really extras to the game. The only big thing is that you can change the controls. You can go to accelerometer or to joystick. Joystick is definitely the best, um, but I will have a lot of complaints about the controls that I'll get to in just a few minutes. So um, let's go ahead and get started with Sly Fox. There are three worlds, a water wing, stealth bomber, and forest flight. You can actually... Click the little unlock button all in the bottom there if you want to hurry up and unlock all the levels. There's about 20 levels in each world, and uh, it costs 99 cents to unlock them all. Uh, I like to play through them, though, but I've played through tons of levels uh, enough to give us a really good feel of the game. This isn't uh, a game like Batman um, or Dark Knight Rises for iOS, which I'm reviewing now, where you're going to have to actually play through the entire game before you can give it a good review. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and just jump in, like say, here with World 3. And just show you. And so, like I said, you're a fox. Or you're a fox that not a fox. A fox that flies and um, has to catch these chickens. So it's really simple. As you can see, my joystick moving. Just fly there, and uh, then you go down here by one of the chickens. They kind of try to run, and then you hold this black button over here, and it allows you to catch them. And you fly them up above a certain point. Now graphically the game looks good, it looks like a cartoon, um, very good drawn backgrounds, very clean, and yeah there's three stars per level um, based upon the time that you get. And so it's very clean graphically, it looks really good, no complaints there. Um, from a sound standpoint, there's good music in the background, kind of repetitive but not bad and it changes a little bit depending on what world you're in. Now you're going to see there's a, a, t a color timer in the top right hand corner when you get to the higher levels and that kind of depends on, uh, you know, if I finish it in 120 seconds while it's still green up in the top right hand corner I get all three stars. If not, if not then I uh, obviously it goes down in stars by there. Now as you'll notice there's some glass there and things like that. And so this game has cool little things. It has dynamite, it has uh, bowling balls, it has rocks that you can carry and kind of crash around. So overall, really good puzzle game for 99 cents. My biggest complaint, and this is this is a big one I think, is uh, biggest complaint is that the controls just aren't very good. So as you can see here, it becomes really difficult to do some of the things you need to do uh, with this fox and so when you're just flying through picking up chickens hey it's not that bad but I played some pretty difficult levels and they get really frustrating because what you have to do is uh, maneuver into tight spaces and then you also um, you also have to be able to throw like little things like those tiny bowling balls and the rocks like you saw into really like you might have to break uh, one small pane of glass and you gotta try to figure out a way to throw it uh, get enough momentum going with the fox, release at the right time to, oh, I'm going to run out of time here, to be able to throw it and break the glass to get the chicken out. And I, I tell you what, it's near impossible sometimes. It really is. It's really frustrating because the controls just aren't precise. I tried the accelerometer as well and it was equally as frustrating. And so Sly Fox is a good puzzle game. Some of you out there may like it, but I personally think there's some better ones out there. Um, especially, I know it's only 99 cents and it's fun that way, but especially because it can get really, really frustrating uh, with the controls, especially in some of the later levels. So, it's good, but I encourage you to check out some other ones that I think you might enjoy better. So, once again, this has been Tony with the ClassicLeet.com Gaming Electronic Podcast. Make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe to our videos and check us out and follow us on Gaming2.0, G2PO.com. Thanks so much and have a wonderful day.